Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Durber with my wife, Alberta Durber. And just delighted to be able to share with you in the truths of God's word once again. Luke 137 says, With God, nothing shall be impossible. We pastor right here in town, Frankfurt, uh, Faith Victory Church, 122 East Broadway. And uh, we're happy to be able to come into your home, into your hotel room, wherever you may be viewing this. And uh, we got something to say, something good. That's right. And it's a good Thursday. Good Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> the 22nd Thursday, of April, yes. 23rd of April. 23rd yeah. of April. Praise God. Wow. Going by very quickly. Springtime. April showers bring Mayflowers, they used to say. And everything is springing up. And, uh, you know, I remember when I didn't care about none of that. You didn't even see it or know it was happening. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you didn't care. You were out of it. Well, you know, that's what drugs and alcohol do. Exactly. Both of us been delivered from drugs and alcohol, and and uh, that was 31 years ago. And we've now been pastoring this church here uh, 25 plus years. And uh, we're just happy. I mean, examples of that, what God I've been saying that a lot lately. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy. Wrote that song. Wrote that happy. song. I'm happy. Right. But uh, we've been teaching out of a devotion that devotional book that we wrote. We co-authored, uh, "Awake to Righteousness," a revelation that has transformed our lives. That's right. And uh, yeah, we transform. really feel led to uh, be teaching this to born-again believers, to educate them on their divine nature. And so uh, if you'd like a copy of this, you can you can uh, call the church office at 875-7886 or, or go to our website, faithvictorychurch.us, and uh, order it there. But uh, every day, if you, if you get a good dose of, of righteousness teaching and understanding because righteousness is not living right. Mm -hmm. You see, the body of Christ gets righteousness and holiness uh, mixed up. Righteousness is right standing with God. Holiness is right living. And I say this over and over again. Righteousness is God's gift yes. to us. Holiness is our gift to God. So we're going to get into this devotion and uh, we're going to let Alberta get us going here, 23 April. Yeah, this is one of my favorite verses in the Bible. It's in 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Uh oh. <laughs> that by these, by what? The exceeding great and precious promises. Plural. Plural, yes. That by these you might, or you will be, that might is it, maybe, it's not like that. That you, you can be if you, you, if can you be. apply. Exactly. Be partakers, uh-oh, of the divine nature. Now we're talking... Almighty God nature. We're not talking about some doo -doo 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 -doo. mythological. Yes. Okay. I, Wait a minute. Uh, this is partakers of the divine nature. Yeah. So there, there's exceeding great and precious promises. Yeah. That are necessary to, to be you know, partakers. the Bible says through faith and patience you inherit the promises. So faith is going to connect us to exceeding great and precious. Yeah, these aren't just any little promises. Promises. That through those exceeding great and precious promises, you can take part in the very divine nature. It's already <laughs> inside there. I'm ready to go. <laughs> We're like two racehorses. I just don't understand why or how people have such a hard time living the true Christian life, which is a life of blessing and joy. You know, Christians don't want to hear that. 
You know, I remember way back when I was a very young person, a beautiful saint of God, Oral Roberts used to say on television, God has some, no, something good is going to happen to you today. And people just said, who did he think he is saying something like that? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They think God doesn't do good things. He just beats you up and gives you cancer. And anyway, let me go back. Um, I just don't understand why or how people have such a hard time living the true Christian life, which is a life of blessing and joy. Romans chapter 14, verse 17 says it this way. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy. Wow. In the Holy Ghost. Peter is saying right here in 2 Peter chapter 1 that we can live an awesome, glorious, powerful life. A God kind of life. It's a life that God has already given us through the knowledge of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. We've been giving, as Peter states, exceeding great and precious promises, and that by these exceeding great and precious promises, we can be partakers of the divine nature of God himself. Wake up. God doesn't make casual promises as man does. How many people have made vows or promises of till death do us part? Huh? <laughs> Where are they today? I like to put it this way. When God gives us a promise, you can put your money on it. He said and is still saying, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's in Hebrews 13, verse 5. The same verse in the Amplified Bible says, he won't ever loosen his grip on us. I love that. Mm. He don't even loosen his grip. God's, God's promises are, are exceeding great and precious, exceeding great and precious. When we start walking in those promises, partaking of them, casting off our old natures and bringing forth the fruit of the spirit, which is God, which is God's divine nature. What a day of rejoicing it will be. Come on, people of God, renew your minds to what's been delivered to us then turn away what we've been delivered from. Awake to righteousness and become a part of the greatest show on earth. I, I just want to say something here. I remember a few years back, I, we were down at, at Pastor Jonathan's church in St. Pete, a great, great church. And I, I preached on the Lord gave me the name of what I was going to preach. You've got what it takes. And that was on this, the exceeding great and precious promises that he has given. us. We got it all. What it takes to live this life. You know, when you were reading that, you read uh, Romans 14, 17, for the kingdom of God is not, not meat, meat and drink, but it's righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Well, how many people want peace? Everybody. How many people want joy? Everybody. They'd be foolish. If they, they, they'd be lying if they said they didn't want There it. is a truth. When you study God's Word, I, I learned this decades ago. The law of first mention. That whatever is mentioned huh. first has the preeminence. Right. Righteous. For instance, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Abraham having mm -hmm. the preeminence. Well, right here, and it works all the way through the Bible. Right here it says, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It's not just, you know, reading scripture and, and, the, and, and feeling the spirit of God when you're in church or whatever. It's something that you're supposed to be walking in. Mm -hmm. It's talking about the kingdom yeah, of God. Okay, it's uh, not, watch this, but it's righteousness. righteousness first. So you could read it like this. For the kingdom of God is righteousness. That's it. Peace. That's it. And joy. Now watch. In the Holy Ghost. 
So without knowing your righteousness, without knowing it, your peace is going to be intermittent. Yeah. It's going to be, I mean, there'll be times when you, you, your mind will be under such a, a heavy attack. Uh, attack of whatever, whatever. And, and you know, you, you might even have to run to somebody and say, pray for me. And what, what am I praying for? I, I just need peace. Well, and God will honor that. I mean, God's a loving father and, you know, he wants us comforted in any way possible. But when you and I operate in righteousness, mm -hmm. Isaiah 32, 17 says, for the work that of righteousness, righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness, quietness and, and assurance, assurance forever. forever. So I I just said that out. when, when righteousness is not realized, mm -hmm. when even though uh, a born again believer knows that uh, they're forgiven, know that they've experienced the new birth mm -hmm. without finding out through the exceeding great and precious promises, the divine, divine nature. nature, that divine nature of God mm -hmm. is yes. his righteousness yes yeah there is no higher right oh my god it's so than the righteousness oh of god. god father god the bible calls him uh well he calls himself the righteous father father and uh so there is no higher right you know than that right mm -hmm. and he that knew no sin, we were talking about this yesterday, I believe it was. He that knew no sin became sin that we might be made the righteousness of God. Yeah. But now it's going to take, Alberta, exceeding great and <laughs> precious promises, plural, yeah, coming from that. every side That's to right. get us to understand that, yes, you are his offspring. Yeah. Yes, you are made in his likeness. Yes, you have his spiritual DNA. Yes, as he is, so, so are, are we, we in this world, world that we in that new creation, old nature has passed away. Behold, that divine nature is causing all things to become no, new. No, no, no. Oh, you know, people. No, no, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Righteousness then. Yeah yields peace yeah peace yeah. i remember i remember you were out of the house we're in that middle of that divorce anguish i got confusion i'm you know i'm gonna be this rock and roll star i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna be all this we're in the middle of divorce and hatred and 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 drug abuse and alcoholism and and all the sin laden burden that was on me and you know Jesus spoke to me in an audible voice and said, Philip, you don't need anybody but me. Get down on your knees and give your life to me. God. Nobody around. And the peace, the peace. I, and and I, I, it, I was born again. And the peace Thank you, Jesus. that I had at that moment was so unlike any kind of feeling that a drug had ever given me right, right. and the joy exactly and of my salvation joy right yeah. but i'm experiencing uh you know we used to drink calls of certain drinks joy juice and all that oh, and God. Oh, no, I, i'm ex joy unspeakable full of glory full of glory, glory. what happened Shoot. what what caused that i was made righteous but I don't know that. No, yeah. So now watch this. Here comes the devil, saying after after you know a few days, you know you know people call it the honeymoon. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Well, God intends us for us to live in that honeymoon. You live that honeymoon exactly. And Jesus. Uh, after a few days, you know I'm being oppressed and 
And, and you know, I'm pressing in to try to find out who this God is because this wasn't a God that I, in the church I was raised in did, did that. And uh, I wanted that peace back. And the peace, it seemed like we'd have it for a little bit, and then we wouldn't. And the most peace we'd get is when we go to church. You yeah, know? No, not back then. The most peace we get every morning watching that. Well, yeah, but that was going to church. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that was and, our church. And, and, and just as soon as, as that was done, here we are battling again. Why? We did not. We did not know our new creation realities we did not we weren't partaking of the divine nature even though it was there yeah we didn't you're a baby you don't know anything so fast forward mm -hmm. five six years when i discovered this and began preaching it began teaching it boy i mean you know there's some people i i mean i got called in on it oh yeah you know what, what, are, you, what are you teaching and I, I i explained by scripture what, what I was teaching. And it was an eye opener for everyone that was questioning me because I was right. And the kingdom of God is not just meet and drink, going to church, hearing a sermon and listen to some good music or even singing a song, but it's operating in righteousness, righteousness which brings the peace and the joy. The, the, the world out there has been looking at Christians that are unhappy, oh, miserable. Uh, barely getting by. And listen to me. I understand their situations. Oh, There's yeah. been much, I understand their situations that can, that can uh, I mean, just try to take the wind out of your life. Yeah. But, uh, and, and, you know, finances, lack of, yeah. uh, 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 relationships that were broken, and, you know, sickness. betrayal or you know, sickness. Kids out on drugs. Death. Yeah. You know, all this stuff is, 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 is I understand. But if oh you have my. a daily dose got it. of righteousness, even through all that, mm -hmm. I've been through it. We've, we, we've been through the death thing. We've been through the lack thing. We've been through the sickness thing. We've been through it. And when you're a pastor, you, you know, you, 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 your, your people walk through uh, seasons of their oh life. My. And when you love your people, then uh, you better know something. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you'll get you'll get pulled under with the challenges of everyone else. But when you and I, you know, I, I'm thinking back when we didn't have none financially, and uh, we started living this truth. And I found over, I believe in Psalms 18, He rewards me according. To my righteousness. According to my righteousness. I said, what? <laughs> because <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> where, where have I been? Yeah. My goodness. It's powerful. And when so I, I started, I, I up my confession. I said, I'm righteous in God in Christ Jesus. Hey, we, and this, this, he leads us in paths of righteousness, righteousness for his name's sake. What's his name say? His name is on this, that he's going to do this. And so he leads us in paths of righteousness because he's got his name on this thing. Yeah. Right? His name is He's signed this thing. He's, he's right. magnified his word above that's, his name. He can't, well, he I'm, can't I'm, go I'm, against I'm, it. I'm, 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 I'm all into this right now. <laughs> and so righteousness, you don't reward me according to my righteousness? Sheesh. That means I got to I gotta check myself. Where's my joy? Where's my peace? These are these are these are very uh, positive uh, alarms and and signals of my righteousness being uh, realized because they're part of the fruit of the spirit: love, joy, peace, joy, peace, love, joy, peace, and so righteousness, peace, and joy. Then. Uh, is a direct uh, result absolutely, of righteousness, absolutely. not just being understood, but well, being lived in. Lived so now watch this one. I begin saying, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. I remember I'd be in my prayer time. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. It, fe it felt weird. Yeah, of course it does. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm doing this by faith. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. No, I'm righteous in Jesus' name. Devil come in there. Who do you think you are? 
It's a matter of I think I am. You, so God you, says you, I am. You, you, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. And, and this is where this is where faith comes that's in. Right. I'd have to go back to the book and read these things, see, because I'm being overwhelmed. Yeah. But guess what? We got out of debt. All of a sudden, we got some money here and there. It wasn't a whole lot, but it was it was more than what we had then. And we kept on, yes. kept on. Yes, yes. And then all of a sudden, it was like the dam broke. It wasn't any more confessing it to have the understanding. We started living it. Living it, exactly. We started, we started operating out of it on a daily basis. That's the power of the Word of God. When you speak what God says, when you speak God's words, there's such power. They're alive. There's such power in those words that you become, you become what you're saying. And that's what it says here. Ah, so uh, Listen, so Roman, Romans chapter 10 says uh, in verse 6, but the righteousness which is of faith uh, speaketh. Speaketh. That's it. I and it doesn't speak. say who's going to go into heaven and get my answer or who's going to bring Christ up, up from uh, um, from above, or who shall descend into the deep that is bring Christ up. In other words, it's not it, righteousness, which is a faith, is not talking about tomorrow, and it's not talking about yesterday, it's talking about right now. Can I I'm, say something real fast? I say it fast. I, I was just thinking how uh, years and years and years ago, we started saying that we're debt free, we live in abundance, and we're paymasters of the gospel. And just the other day, I was sending out all our, we we uh, connected to many ministries and we support many ministries. Financially. Financially. So and see. Yes. And I was writing out, you know, all these, and I, I looked and I was like, phenomenal. The, the amount of money that we send out in a month. If we had had just w one of them in, the, in wait, a month. But wait, I realized we invest in the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And we have stepped into what we have confessed for years. We're debt free, which we've been for a long time. 20 we're, years more. We live in abundance mm. and we're paymasters of Thank the gospel. Thank you, Jesus. Phew, that's let kingdom me, living. Let, let, listen to me, listen to me. You're sitting there and you're listening to that and you say, well, that, that might be easy. For them. Yeah, I know. There are no spiritual right. birth defects in the kingdom. That's right. This is not based on your education level. It's not based on your race. No. It's not based on your None age. None of it. It's not based on your past. What mm -hmm. it is based on is, are you born again? That's number one. And once you are born again, if you're born again, do you know what this book says? Right. And you are a doer of the word, That's it. not hearers only. Thank you. And it's real easy to receive Jesus as your personal Come Savior. On. All you have to do is ask him into your heart. That, tell him to forgive you and make him Lord. See? And, you and if you're Lord. backslidden, get back, get back where you're supposed to be. That's see? It. And start living the good life. But if you're a born again believer... And you're hearing what we're saying today. Yeah. And, and and it's like, how come nobody ever told me that? See, I got uh, mad. Yeah, we said that. How come nobody ever told me that, right? You're being well, told right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> right right. Now. It, it, be glad. You, you know, God's got this word to you. That's right. And you may not understand fully everything that's being said uh, right up front it. here, but that's why we wrote that book so that you can have a daily dose of it. And as you're having that daily dose, you can come into peace yeah. and joy in oh, your life. Yes, now, uh, hey. that prayer line, 597-4357, call us. We got church tomorrow night, seven o'clock. Be glad to have you come out and uh, join in with us. Tell, 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 uh, call the call the church office eight seven five seven eight eight six. Say, hey, I was watching Pastor Philip okay. and and Pastor Albert on television, and and I need a ride, and and we'll we'll get, we'll, we'll get transportation lined out for you. Uh, 
We just enjoy coming to you every day. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7. So you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you. You'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.